We'll be fine. He's just upset. Yeah, we'll throw a couple varies in front of that and you're getting close. I mean, he went full on MMJ. Wow. It's been a while since me and my Jordan came out. Maybe I should scrap the story. I mean, he thinks I only don't if we're in my family's lives. That's a bit dramatic. Mean Mug's words, not mine. But I mean, he's right. I mean, my story on Tamika Pratt got you fired. I didn't get fired. I quit. Because the truth about Tamika needed to come out. You knew that and did what you needed to do, and so did I. Yeah, but I could have handled it better. Life is full of sacrifices, sweetie. Take your father and I, for instance. We were supposed to have dinner tonight, but as you can see, he's not here. Oh my God, is this his? It's fine. I knew he'd be working in Crenshaw a lot, so I moved down here to be with him. And how's that going? Better than it would have if I'd stayed in Beverly Hills. Everything worth fighting for involves sacrifice. If your gut is telling you to do the story, then stick with it. Even if it means ruffling some feathers, Jordan can't stay mean mug forever. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Oh, hey, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi. I tried to get out of there as soon as I could, but uh, I need to damage control and that Regina Lawson don't play. I need her on my defense. Uh, it's fine. I got your text, so I knew you were going to be late. So let me just warm this up for you. Really? Oh, I really, really, I'm sorry. It really is fine. I promise. Well, this looks amazing. Oh, boy. It's not fine. You should have been here.